Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Easy Paintings by Ishita. Today I'll teach you a very simple and a very loose painting which will be entirely on wet on wet technique and I'll be using Chitrapat watercolor paper. This is 100% cotton, 270 GSM. So firstly, I will go ahead and quickly sketch out the scene that I'm going to be making and after that I'll be stretching the paper by dipping it in water for 5 minutes. So I have stretched the paper, the paper looks okay. Uh, we have bulges but that's fine, we'll recover that. And with that I'll be using a paintbrush which is a mop brush number 8 along with that a Princeton long round number 6 and I might use some more brushes towards the end. And my paints today are the watercolor paints which is from the brand Bruce Throw. This is a fine art brand in India. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating an elevation under my painting surface. So I've put in the watercolor block and I created a elevation. So I'm applying clear water to the area where we will be painting the sky. So put the water generously and then we will begin creating the mixture of colors we would need. So I'm using brush number zero, mop brush, and with cobalt blue, I am making the sky. So the surface is still very wet. I'm creating a mixture in which I'm create, I have uh, mixed in some burnt umber with some blue, along with some uh, cobalt blue, some yellow ochre, some light green, to create a very dark mixture so let's test it okay this looks very bluish I'm mixing a little of black onto it and I will apply it where I need the trees so as the surface is very wet it's going to bleed in beautifully creating a beautiful silhouette of our forest Here my paintbrush has a lot of water, along with that a lot of color, so that the bleeding of the color is gorgeous. So make sure it has a lot of water in it. And towards the side where we will touch the barn, I have kept the space a little dry so that it doesn't bleed inside the barn. The time of the year now you got people falling in love it brings you good cheer now when I miss throw it so after turning, this is going to look like this. I'm pretty satisfied with the greens and now I am applying some shadows to make the snow. So I've mixed in a little of black with water along with that a little blue to create this beautiful grey. Friends here I'm using a mop brush or a quill brush. I'm very very happy with this brush. If you don't have it, you can use the number 12 or number 16 paint brush, whichever you have available. So I'm making the snow right now. This is looking pretty dark right now but as it will dry up, this is going to become very light in color. So do not be scared of applying colors and there is a shade variation so whenever you are making the first puddle make sure you make it in a big quantity which I did not do so there is a color variation between both the snows. So my snow part is done applying a little water to smudge the rough edges and my greens are now dry. I'm starting to make my barn. So here I'm using scarlet plus crimson to make this gorgeous red. Right 
And now using the same diluted red to make the reflection onto the water puddle. Using grey colour to apply the shadows onto the roof. And now creating the reflection for the trees using the leftover greens from that mixture. Now with the snap brush number 4, I'll go ahead and create the fence. So I'm using pure black for this. making the chimney and let's make the shadows as the sun is hitting from this side so the shadows will fall towards the corners Time of the year now, you got people falling in love. It brings you good cheer now when the mistletoe is above. Can you sign no driving? Using sap green now to make some plants. Away, Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Never get a white Christmas, but today. Snowflakes falling down, it's Christmas time, but you're not Applying shadows now under the plants, and this is grain color. The candles on the mantle, they don't flicker. And now applying one more layer of red onto our reflection to deepen it. Can hear sand 
driving sway Or was it the Grinch and he got away Kevin's alone, not acting afraid Waiting for a white Christmas and today Snowflakes falling down It's Christmas time And the final thing is adding some birds to seal the deal all right, so our gorgeous painting is now ready. Wasn't this a very simple tutorial yet with stunning results? So you can achieve this under 10 minutes, guys. Do try this out. Let me know how it turned out for you. And if you make it, do tag me on Instagram at Easy Paintings by Ishita so that I can connect with you out there. So see you soon. Thank you very much for visiting. Have a lovely day.